Good day everyone and welcome back. Here we are continuing with our black duck mount. Installing the body, as you can see I'm pushing the neck wire first right exactly where it needs to be. And um, I have mentioned before that uh, pushing these wires into the body we have marked it before or at least you have marked it in your mind it's not just like a guess game so you know exactly where you're supposed to push those wires so the body is going to be or the wings and legs are going to be attached symmetrically so basically after pushing the wings and leg wires into the body you're gonna see there's a separate piece of wire I'm attaching and that is basically for attachment of of the uh, of the mount to the scenery this bird is going to be flying and uh, with that pose the breast is going to be attached to the scenery stick or wood and then the back of the bird is going to be on the show side you can do it different ways I like to do, do this one uh, because of what kind of bird it is I like to do it from inside so basically before I sew up the bird I push my attachment wire right from the back coming into the breast area leaving it all out of course I made the other side like a U so it goes in into the uh, into the body from the back now I'm attaching the leg wires actually So that wire is going to stick out straight, make sure that it's not poking your face. And uh, I sew around it when I'm closing up the bird. I sew all around it. Mallards have a terribly thin skin, guys. If you're trying to uh, mount a mallard, if it's not your first time, make sure that you handle it with a lot of care because they got a very thin skin. I'm adjusting the placement of the leg wires before I start sewing up. So like every other bird that we do, we're going to go through a super turbo charge of sewing power going through it because it's a boring thing and you all know how to sew. And then the same thing with blow drying. I'm not going to show you the whole thing. I'm just going to show you seconds of blow drying it and then you'll see it's all blow dried, fully dried. And after we got the bird fully dried out, we're going to attach it to the uh, temporary stand or um, basically um, a stick or anything you want to name it just to pose it before we transfer it to the final base. Okay. Here we go. We got that two by two stick out there. I'm going to pretend that would be exactly the same uh, placement that I'm going to have on the scenery. So I attach that piece of wire that stick that was sticking out of the breast. I push it through that stick and tape around it. Do any kind of trick that you know to make it uh, solid so it's not moving around. And now we're going to start moving around the bird and doing all the uh, posing and grooming and also doing some caulking where it's uh, where it's needed so again I'm going to uh, let you watch and as soon as I feel that there is something worth saying I'll jump in and talk to you guys again
So now I'm trying to... Basically, this bird was molting too, but thankfully it was holding to its feathers very good. So now I'm trying to pin that um, scapulars to the shoulder or where that uh, flying web wing is attached to the shoulders. I'm trying to pin those areas down so the wings are not uh, basically out of shape. So, and I'm trying to, um, because I'm putting these voices over the video uh, long after the mount has been done. It's not the same day. So I'm trying to remember exactly what I'm doing so I know exactly what to say if there is something important. Oh, actually, you know what? This is an important part here. Um, pinning the skin into the body is important because uh, especially when it comes to waterfowl, by the time you flesh and clean all the fat, you're going to gain a lot of skin. Um, and you, you need to know where, the, where those extra skin are going to be compacted and pinned down to the body. So underneath the wings, or if you want to call it armpit, that's one area. Or top of the shoulder, which is called scapular, that's another area. And all of that uh, areas need to be pinned down properly. So uh, make sure you do that, and uh, especially when your body is foam, so you don't have any um, problem pushing the pins into it. So it's going to be easy, and and even uh, the um, the skin around the neck and the breast still going to be much larger than the body that you have made for for the bird. So that's the importance of the caulking. So you glue and compact the skin on the body where you think it needs to be. And no one can really tell you. I mean, it's it's best to see it firsthand uh, in the shop. But I mean, this is for now is the best we can do from distance. But it comes with practice. Like right now, I'm trying to do the same thing with all the extra skin that we had that came from underneath the legs. Uh, make sure you pin them in so at least your drumsticks and your your leg anatomy is showing perfectly good, especially when it comes to a flying bird. Because uh, flying birds are the most um, compact, they have the most compacted skin and feathers when they're flying. They're not fluffed up at all. So basically I pull the leg muscles and the drumstick muscles up toward the top of the leg and find the extra area that needs to be pinned down and I just pin it down right there. <clears throat> Keep grooming and grooming and grooming and taxi the skin around. Make sure that um, it's going to be pinned down and glued down exactly where they belong to. And to help yourself see better, you can do what I'm doing here, which is basically keeping the bird um, in, the, in the right direction for your own eyes. So basically either up or down, up and down or upside down or any, any shape and form because this bird is going to be flying uh, uh, basically from uh, right to the left. If I keep that bird in that position, there is a good chance that my eyes fool me and basically I don't align the skin properly. So that's why I keep it upward or downward and uh, make it a little bit easier for myself to see what I'm doing. Now, 
where that wing joint is and pretty much underneath the scapular is exactly where I want to poke a hole and do a little bit of a caulking in there. Not a lot, just make sure that your nozzle is inside the skin. And it might look that I'm moving it violently, but uh, it's in the video, it's really not that uh, violent. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing it very smooth and make sure that I'm not uh, injecting all over the feathers. I know that uh, some of you guys who've been caulking your birds have experienced that and it's not a good day when that happens. All the caulking needs to be under the skin, not over the feathers. So I do the same thing on the other area too. So sometimes what I do, I I move around that area when I have gone inside with caulking and I ca uh, inject more caulking underneath and then I squeeze it out with tools or sometimes with my fingers and push that uh, glue where I want it. As you can see, I'm pushing it into the neck area right now. Okay hey guys, we are coming to an end for this part of the video as well. Thank you very much for watching. Tomorrow I'll post another, uh, the next part, which is going to be about carding or taping your flying duck. Um, stick around tomorrow and uh, we'll continue this beautiful duck mount for, for good. Okay, have a good one. See you.